Uh, hi, uh, this is Dr. Mary K. Bagayao, and we're going to be looking at algebra blocks. These are our algebra blocks here. We have all of these different uh, types of blocks, and I'll just get them all out. And we're going to start uh, identifying what they are. Got some yellow and some orange blocks. And then we have all of these different other blocks here. And now, when we do algebra blocks, these green blocks, these are the integers. So if you have one, then there'll be one or two or three. So these are all the regular counting numbers, the integers. So when we have integers, they're green. Now, when we have the variable x, it's going to be yellow. This is the x, and this one, this orange one, is the y. So the first thing we want to think about is uh, the difference between 2x and x squared. For example, if we have 2x, that's going to be look like something like this. There's 2x. What's the difference between that and x squared? This one is the x squared. It takes x and it makes it into a square. So each of the sides is x. So x, 2x, x squared. This would be 3x. And this would be 2x squared. The difference between 2x and 2x squared. Now let's continue and look, well, what would be x cubed? This one here is x cubed because you see it has x has a length, x has a width, and x has a height. That's the x cubed. Now the same thing is true for the y's. We'll have our y, our y squared, and our y cubed. Now when we get into these other blocks, we see that they have some characteristics of x and some characteristics of y. For example, this one right here is going to have a base that is y squared and a height that is x. So this one is y squared x, this one right here. Then we have this one where we have a base is x and your height is y. So this is x squared y. And we have, um, that's, that's all with those. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some problems with these algebra blocks and see how they work. For example, let's do something like x plus 1 times x plus 1. Here we have our x plus 1 times x plus 1. Now let's come over here to the board and write it out. x plus 1 times x plus 1. Now let's see what it's going to look like on our algebra blocks. They're all positive here and here. So now when we have x times x, we get x squared. And we put it in there. And then we have x times 1 is x. And x times 1 over here is x. So we're multiplying this times this, we get x. And then we have 1 times 1 over here. We're filling it in, and we get 1. So now we have our answer. We're going to take our problem part away and just look at our answer. So when we add them all up, we have 1x squared, we have 2x's, and we have 1. So let's go ahead and write that on the board. x squared plus 2x plus 1 is our answer. x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now let's see where we got that. We multiplied the first terms and we have x squared. We multiplied the last terms, and we have plus 1. And then we multiplied the inner terms, and we got just x, 1 times x. And we multiplied the outer terms, and we got x. So now we have x plus x is 2x. 
And here we have uh, the old method without the visuals, multiplying it out. And here we have from the visuals how we did that. So let's go ahead and try another one. This time we'll use um, some of the other pieces. And we could do something like y plus 1 times x plus 2. Now let's go ahead and fill these in. And uh, this is the one piece that I didn't, I didn't describe, but you see how this has the length of y, of, uh, of y and uh, here a length of x. So we have y times x is xy, and then we have our y times 1 is y, y times 1 is y, x times 1 is x, and then we have 1 times 1 and 1 times 1. So let's see what this looks like on the board. We have y plus 1 times x plus 2. Let's write it out. y plus 1 times x plus 2. So we have y times x. So we have xy. And then our last term is plus 2. Our inner term we have plus x. And our outer term we have plus 2y. Now let's go ahead and look and see what the model says that we have. Take away our problem and just look at our answer. So we have 1xy plus x plus 2y plus 2. And that's how we can use our algebra blocks. Now we'll do one more problem. This is going to be more of a challenge problem. And we're going to do x squared plus 1 times x plus 2. You see how we can put that up here so it's three-dimensional. So now we have x squared times 1, and this is where we use our, our x cubed. Then we have x times 1, and we put that in here. And then we have x squared times 1. Do you see how we're multiplying our x squared times 1? And we're putting it in here. And another x squared times 1. And then we have our, our integers where we have x times 1, uh, 1 times 1, and 1 times 1. So that's what it looks like on the mat. Now let's write it out on the board. We started with x squared plus 1, and we're multiplying by x plus 2. So we do our first terms, and we have x cubed, these. Then we do our last terms, plus 2. Then we do our inner, plus x, plus x. And then we do our outer, plus 2x squared. So let's, let's put this in order of the exponents. We have x cubed plus 2x squared plus x plus 2. Now let's go back and check our answer and see if we have the right thing. We'll take the problem part away. And yes, we do have x cubed plus 2x squared plus x plus 2. And that's just a little overview of how these algebra blocks work. Um, thank you for, for uh, watching, and I'll see you next time. This has been Mary Kay Bacchial with uh, Math Methods. Thank you. Bye-bye.